What's up, everybody? It's a Blue Drake, and today we're going to be looking at the People's Liberation Army mod for Arma 3. As always, if you like this video, be sure to share and subscribe. That helps out more than you know. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving a score out of 10. So that's 1 through 10, depending on how much I like the mod. This is the first time I have ever played or seen any of the content. I'm going to be walking everybody through. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Um, I'm starting out here as a default rifleman with the QBZ-95 assault rifle, which is a standard rifle in the Chinese army. So let's uh, take a couple pop shots here. Alright, so it sounds like the gun is just using the default Arma assault rifle sounds, which is kind of disappointing, but to be honest, with mods at this stage, it's kind of hard to expect anything more. The iron sights look pretty nice. And the, uh, the model is actually really good. Let's look at the reload animation. Reload animation is very solid. Um, Still not sure if that's using the default reload animations. It does, it is reloading with uh, the bullpup fashion. Um, I'm not sure if there's any stock uh, weapons that have bullpup reload animations in Arma 3. So that's, that might be a vanilla animation or it might be something they cooked up. Either way, it looks pretty good. Alright, so let's go over to this box here and look at all the other weapons that this game adds. And by game, I mean mod. Alright, so we've got the QBZ-95B Carbine. Let's see, can I actually... No? Alright. Nice default uh, vanilla scope right there on the top. Seems like it uses the exact same sound. Good firing animation. Even if the sounds are the same, which is kind of... Annoying. But you know, hey, whatever. Still a good reload animation. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of having a carbine versus a normal rifle is. Um, I don't think it does any more or less damage, um, so it may just be the aesthetic value, which is kind of disappointing, but you know, hey, whatever. Um, I'm not entirely sure what real life differences there would be anyways. Alright, so let's take a look at the heavy machine guns. And does this add any new scopes? Alright, looks like all the scopes are still old. Adds in a drum magazine, though. That's definitely interesting. Let's see, let's uh, grab some of those. Take this out to the range. Let's go all out. Take off this uh, scope just for so we can see the beautiful iron sights. Alright, so still the same, uh, same sound. Yeah, hit fired all three of those puppies. So pretty basic. Pretty basic. The models are great. I really wish they would add in new sounds. Uh, I wish that was kind of a standard thing. So here we go. Here's this. What is this, anyways? Uh, QJY88 JP GPMG uh, light machine gun. That's kind of like a PK PKM style uh, box mag here. Take the uh, sight off that and go give that a try. See if this has a different sound. If it's the same as the assault rifle sound, I might freak out. Oh, well, gotta reload first. Oh. And, of course, I forgot to get some magazines. Um, looks like it doesn't have any no... Oh, and the arm's going straight through. That's kind of a... Kind of a bug. Alright, let's see here. Um... UJY88. Add that in. Oh, there we go, finally. Alright, perfect. Arms kind of going through the, the box there. I'm not sure how much I care about that, though. Alright, so, machine gun sound. Uh, still sounds like it's a vanilla sound, though. Pretty sure I've heard that before. Lay down and fire this puppy. Nice. Alright. 
Last but not least, let's take a look at the uh, sniper rifle. UBU-88 DMR. Designated Marsman rifle, so not really a sniper rifle. Got the big clunky sniper rifle sight on here. Take some pop shots. Oh, well, never mind. I keep forgetting the ammo. Keep thinking these things come loaded, and they don't. Lies! All lies! Uh, so what ammo? To, okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so that still uses the uh, default assault rifle sound. It does have full auto. Oh, nice. What does that even reload to? What is this thing? Is this bullpup design? Oh, it is. Oh. Right, let's take off the uh, off the scope here. See what the iron sight looks like. Oh, there is no iron sight. Oh, you're gonna lose some scores there. So the gun is not entirely finished. Um, unless there's some iron sight, I'm not thinking of that. Cause see, that right there in that little middle section, that just looks like an unfinished texture, or an unfinished model. Uh, like something's just kind of missing. Um, so that's... I mean... I, I know you could just put on a scope or whatever, uh, and have this all fixed. But, I don't know, it's just the principle of the thing. Um, additionally, I believe these... these sights mount to this in a... Yeah, see, there's no real mounting. They're just kind of floating on there. Because uh, these are weaver rail uh, sights that attach that, and it's just kind of floating on there. That's kind of kind of lame. Um, I mean, at this point, I'm just really nitpicking specifics, but uh, gonna lose some. Sc I'm gonna lose a little bit of score there. All right, let's see. Keep looking. I'm not sure if this adds in much else. Got some PLA, uh, different patrol caps, and, uh, that's about it, so let's take a look at these little caps here. Boonie cap, oh, I see. Special Forces boonie. And the helmets. I like the camo helmet. It's kinda nice. Really nice, actually. Uh, I like the... like the, um camo for the uniform too. That's pretty nice. Alright, so uh, that's pretty much all of the infantry weapons. Let's go take a look back here. We're gonna look at the uh, the infantry uh, uniforms. Alright, so here we are looking at the infantry uniforms. Uh, this guy has got... Ooh, he's got a... Uh, oh, I did not realize that that was a thing. I might have to kill you and take that here in a second. Um, grenade launcher attachment for his gun. I didn't even realize that was an option. I want that. Can I? Is that like a? How do you get that? I want that. I don't want this gun anymore. I'll look at that later, I guess. Nice little silenced pistol, just in case I need to kill somebody. A carbine attachment. I like the uniforms. Uniforms look really good. The character models look really solid. These are special forces units right here. Animations are really good, but I'm pretty sure that's not the mod. Unless they added in something I don't really know about. That's, uh, basic, um, rifleman with, uh, with anti-armor, but that's vanilla anti-armor, so nothing special there. And it looks like they're all using these, uh, these sights. The, the vanilla sights that mount onto the gun in impossible ways, unless the... Yeah, see, that gun does not have a weaver rail attachment. But, uh, that may not be something that I can even nitpick. Uh, that might just be an engine limitation. Or if it isn't an engine limitation, something that would require considerably more overhauling and would make this less of a mod uh, and more of a total conversion. 
Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Love the, the uniforms. Uniforms are really solid. Especially the helmets like that in the character models. Uh, I'm not sure if they have any silenced weapons. Pretty sure they don't. Actually. Um... But yeah. That's... that's that. Okay, so that's pretty much all the uniforms. Uh, let's move on to the vehicles. Alright, so, um, actually, unfortunately, I was about to get excited for reviewing all the vehicles in the PLA mod, but upon further inspection, I don't know why I didn't notice this at first, I uh, definitely noticed it with the smaller ve with these vehicles, but that's kind of standard for most mods. Uh, then I looked at the APC, and then I looked at the tanks. Uh, these are all merely retextures of the original content, which is kind of lame. Um, not really digging that. I uh, feel like if you're going to say you're going to introduce an entirely new faction, you should do it justice. They did a lot of good work with the guns, but uh, it seems like all they really did with the vehicles was just give them camo and rename them. So, uh, like, this is a ZTZ-30? Like, what? No, that's <laughs> that is not a ZTZ-30. That is the original normal tank, and then this is just the Op 4 version, ZTZ-35. Uh, pretty much just the same thing. Um, this is a WZ-35, and this is a uh, J-30, which is not true. It's a buzzard. It's a buzzard! Um, <laughs> to be honest, maybe this is a uh, homage to the fact that the Chinese often borrow technologies from other nations and just kind of adapt it to themselves, but this is just, this is just straight up uh, copy and pasting. Um, I've actually, I don't think I've ever been in this. Let's see, riding back. Very, very good model. Has nothing to do with the mod, but, uh, <laughs> very pretty. Yeah. Can I stick my head outside? No? Alright. Look at the front here. Just for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This would be really sexy if I didn't realize the fact that, uh... See, this is why I get kind of annoyed. Um... You have these beautiful interiors for the helicopters, but you don't ever have interiors for the uh, armored vehicles. I'm gonna complain about that for every video, I swear. I swear! Um, but yeah. Okay, so, um... Last things last, before we do the final verdict, uh, we're going to take some of these guys into battle and see how this whole mod plays out uh, in the battlefield. So yeah, alright. I think I might do a night mission. Let's see. So a night mission it is. I've got two special forces squads right here, and then I have got a CAS squad that is going to come and help us take out a... Blue 4 military base right here. So I'm going to tell my cast to already move in and kick these guys' asses. Seek and destroy. Tell my two elite units to flank out. And then flank in and kick ass. Alright, everybody seems to be, uh, up and running. I'm gonna run with, uh, this squad on the right. And hopefully they can protect me. After all, I am their commander. Let's hope these cast choppers can do their job as well. I'm gonna be relying on them more than anything. So it begins. Oh, that's what I'm talking about.
Leave some for us. shit. Oh, there's still some guys there. I'll wait for the main forces to open fire. I wish I had silence weapons. I kind of want to get rid of those lights. Get in there. Oh shit! You just blew that? Wow, they blew up that entire thing. I did not notice that. Crap. Stupid lights. These guys know what the hell they're doing. Or at least I think they do. The custom voices are actually pretty decent. Did that entire other section die? Wow, I lost an entire infantry section. I wonder how that happened. Shit. Oh crap, lost somebody. Oh crap. Can't see very well with that on, 
actually. Grandio, you go. Ah, oh, shit. And now I can't see anything. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? There is a car. Crashed through the whole goddamn well. That's insane. Straight up, if you guys actually have any silence weapons, my jacket from you. Oh, oh shit! Oh, nice. Nope, 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 nope. Climb this last tower, finish these guys off. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, you saw me! There must have been a couple others. Oh well, that was still pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have to say, after playing through all of this, I'm going to give this mod a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, the weapons are pretty good, but there's just really, when it comes down to it, not much to this mod. It says it adds in the entire PLA faction, but a lot of the vehicles are retextures. Uh, a lot of the guns use already like vanilla sounds. Uh, and vanilla scopes, like the scopes don't even attach properly the way they should. There's no uh, Chinese scopes. Um, it just seems like a lot of uh, a lot of fluff and not a, a lot of actual material. Just a lot of filler for a mod. Uh, definitely expected a lot more content. But besides that, if you're looking for just a cheap, fast way to implement a PLA, PLA Chinese faction into your game, this is definitely the one to use. I mean, I don't think there's any other PLA faction mods out there, so, you know, it's better this than nothing. Oh man, those helicopters are wrecking it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and as always, be sure to share, subscribe if you want to see more of this, and tell me in the comments if you like the video and you want to see more reviews in the future. So, I hope to see you on the battlefield very, very soon, and I will see you next time.